Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Sharifah Lena Aidi. I am going to talk about ether. As all of us know, ether is one of the general anesthetic that can be used. And one of the examples is diethyl ether. Well, in this slide, it states that ether cannot be exposed to air, nitrous oxide or oxygen. So, ether must be kept in a bottle safely and shouldn't be exposed in the air. But, this makes me curious. Why ether cannot be mixed with oxygen? How this happen? Well, let's look on the chemical reaction of ether and oxygen. As we can see here, ether can be easily attacked by radicals. Firstly, in the initiation step, in this initiation step, the hydrogen gas will be removed and form a free radical ether. In this, in this case, we use diethyl ether. This example shows that R with a dot represents a generic alkyl radical. In the case of diethyl ether, the free radical abstracts hydrogen atom from a carbon next to ether oxygen atom. This forms this forms an RH molecule which is called as RK and gives the ether molecule unpaired electron. In this is how ether become a radical molecule. This free radical which is diethyl ether, can react with oxygen. They will form alkyl peroxy radical. This alkyl peroxy radical will then react with the second molecule of diethyl ether to form a hydroxy peroxide. And this generates identical radical. This whole process can continue and this sometimes become virtually forever and it is called as catalytic chain reaction or auto oxidation. From here, any of several steps can happen. For example, the alkyl peroxy radical could react with an ether radical, which is diethyl ether to form a dialkyl peroxide. Likewise, at slightly elevated temperature, the hydroxy peroxide molecule can decompose to form two new radicals, both of which can go on to catalyze the formation of additional hydroperoxide and generate even more heat. The hotter things get, the faster the decomposition and the rate of radical formation from hydroperoxide. This can obviously self-accelerate and lead to an explosion. Such situations are called autocatalytic reactions. As we can see, hydroxy radical is also being formed. However, hydroxy peroxide is the one that causes explosion to occur. Well, now I know that Diethyl ether mixed with oxygen can cause an explosion. I hope that everybody can understand this well and get a lot of benefit from my video. Thank you so much for spending your time watching this video. Please do give me some feedback on my video. Thank you. Bye.